Throughout Minecraft's lifespan, there have been some pretty interesting and unintentional quirks that have made their way into the game, like the ability to literally fish a player in flight out of the water, shooting them into the sky. Video about that can be found here. Some interesting glitches still exist in Minecraft to this very day, however some of the best glitches of all time, no matter how much they broke the game, have been patched. So I want to know, what are the best removed glitches? glitches of all time, and I have a feeling you might want to know too. So stick around and let's have a look. Well hey, you're still here. Thanks for sticking around. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out some of the greatest glitches to ever be fixed throughout Minecraft's history. These might be things that completely broke the game when abused, or just did something hilarious and unintentional. So let's go ahead and let's get right into them. First up on the list is speed hacking. In early versions of Minecraft, specifically the alpha versions, you could make Minecraft move crazy fast for a short period of time. This was incredibly useful for the otherwise very tedious strip mine expeditions. I know this is a bug I used once or twice in some of my first maps shortly after I bought the game. To do this, all you had to do was bump your computer's clock up by one hour. When you returned to Minecraft, you would be met with a fairly brief but otherwise insane speed boost, acting as if the game had just sped up 10 times or faster or so. But the effect wore off after about 30 seconds. But was incredibly useful nonetheless. If you want to mess around with this for yourself, just load up an alpha version of Minecraft and give it a go. Number two is the block duplication piston bug, introduced in beta 1.7 and then patched in beta 1.7.3 thanks to Kirshar. Without too complicated of an explanation, you would place pistons in the fashion that I am placing them and then you would connect them all together, put the desired block in place to be duplicated, and then you would fire the machine up and the pistons would duplicate the block. While this glitch was useful, it pretty much killed the difficulty of the game if you used a diamond block with this machine, and I'm personally happy that this one was fixed. My guess is the game, for one tick, believed that the block being duplicated was in two locations at once, and before the game could correct it, the duplicated block had already been moved by the other piston. This bug was abused by Kirshar to create an awesome machine known as the Infinite TNT Cannon, the link of which you can find on the top right of the screen if you want to check it out. Feel free to download it for yourself and try it out. I feel like the third item on this list is one that almost everyone will be familiar with, the Farlands. From almost the very beginning of Minecraft all the way until beta 1.7.3, due to a mathematical error with the way that chunks are stored, I think, when you walked a little over 12.55 million blocks in Minecraft, you would appear at the Farlands. On most computers, this was about as far as you would be able to get, due to the sheer amount of buggy falling gravel and sand that would generate the game would begin lagging out almost immediately. If you continued beyond this point by teleporting, the terrain would become buggier and buggier until eventually the game would crash. Number four is item duplication. While this item may exist in one form or another in the current version of Minecraft, it's also a bug that is actively patched whenever it is found and exploited. The premise is pretty simple. Through lag manipulation, force quitting the game, or some other means, you could duplicate all of your items. The method being shown on screen worked as recently as release 1.8, and a video about that can be found on the top right of the screen, but when I tested it in 1.10 or above, it doesn't work anymore. The way my method worked though is that you would pause the game when your items got picked up but before the entities themselves disappeared from the ground and then you would log out and cause your items to be picked up a second time when you logged back in. You could duplicate your whole inventory this way by causing your character to die within an enclosed area and spawn on top of all of your items. There would be a slight delay in the item pickup allowing you to be able to pause the game in time. Extreme useful considering how many items you could duplicate at once using this method. 
And the last item on the list existed for most of the release 1.9 snapshots. In these snapshots, the physics of boats were changed completely, allowing for this bug to happen. When you placed a boat onto a slime block and waited for more than a few seconds, when you climbed in the boat, the boat would launch tens of thousands of blocks into the air, depending on how long you waited. Using this method, it was possible to also combine this with the elytra, get out of the boat when you get really high and fly over a million blocks and if you use the nether ceiling glitch to do this and then place down some slime blocks and did the boat thing on the ceiling of the nether you could very quickly reach the world border of minecraft since every block you walk in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld and that just about wraps this list up. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys enjoyed this video and if there are any glitches that you guys thought of that you want to share, feel free to list them down below as well. But anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed this video and if you did, a rating would be highly appreciated. It helps out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is AntVenom and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.